Couple of 185 pound fighters in the cage representing Performance MMA. Ian Heine, she's wearing the silver trunks. Facing off against Mr. Jonathan Cox, he's representing American Top Team Altitude. Of course, he's in the black and red. Quick trap of a kick being shown by Cox trying to get the takedown. But the word on Heine is that he's a great wrestler and he's showing that here, trying to hit that switch. Good job by Cox, working hard in the transition. He's a little bit high here. Nice scramble by both fighters. Heinisch comes out of it, throwing a solid knee strike. And takedown. Nice hip toss being shown by Heinisch, and immediately looking to light up Cox with hard ground and pound. Fast transitions by both these fighters. Heinisch continues with the striking. Three-quarter Nelson trying to maintain his position here is Heinisch. Cox in a bit of trouble now. Trying to work his way out. Great scrambles by both these fighters, Ron. Unbelievable action, JR, right out of the gates. Oh, my goodness. Ian Heinz has shown some serious power. Jonathan Cox doing a nice job getting, getting back to control here. But uh, that fight started out like a house on fire. Oh, my goodness. And now both fighters back to their feet. Jonathan Cox throwing some bombs right now. Big knee by Ian Hines. It's definitely stung Cox. That definitely took a little wind out of his sail, JR. Heinisch doing a really nice job with his knee striking. Just as I say that, we see exactly the same thing out of Cox. UFC fighter Chris Camozzi in the corner of Heinisch tells him that he wants a knee, and Heinisch does exactly that. That shows a kid that's been doing some kind of combat sports for a long time. I'm referencing his wrestling right there, his ability to listen to his coach. That is something that is sometimes underutilized by fighters in the cage. Both these guys showing a lot of strength. A couple really well-conditioned fighters here and a fast pace coming out. Neither one of these guys willing to take a step back. Cox continues to drive for the takedown, but great defense being shown by Heinisch. Heinisch now on top of Cox, has Cox pinned against the cage, pressuring him. Cox having a difficult time getting up, but showing outstanding hips as well. Heinrich now taking his back, throwing both hooks in, brings Cox back down, still against the cage, and now looking to throw shots from the top, which he's doing. Cox doing a nice job covering up. Heinrich looking to get the arm underneath the chin to finish a choke. But Cox doing a really nice job controlling the wrist and the hands of Heinzich. Unbelievable action so far, JR. The arm is not underneath the chin, but Heinzich is definitely looking for a finish. And with the kind of strength these guys possess, you can see a face crank ending this fight. We got 10 seconds left here in round number one. And my gosh, what a fight these guys have put on so far. Great action in this first round. Two strong, strong guys, JR. Looking at the uh, looking at the face of Jonathan Cox, it looks as though his right cheek is swelling up pretty pretty fast. Heinzich back to his corner under the tutelage of Chris Camozzi get him, getting some instruction. He looks nice and calm, nice and relaxed. Both these guys putting on a hell of a show. Will definitely be interesting to see how both these guys come out in the second round. I'm anticipating Heinzich to look for that blast double or use those knees to set up a takedown. And for Cox, I think that he's going to be looking to shoot in right away and uh, and forget that, that stand-up fighting right now. But it'll be interesting to see how this goes.
Little bit of a delay while we get the corner men out of the cage. Both guys up off their stools, taking a couple of deep breaths, but looking fresh to go. <laughs> and we see some swelling underneath the right eye of Cox. See if Heinisch looks to target that. Heinisch goes with the head kick and a big smile on the face of Heinisch. This is a kid that likes to be in there. Ron, I don't care who wins this fight. These two are uh, both a couple to watch here in Colorado. Yeah, man, both these guys are going after it right now. As you referenced, JR, perfectly, lots and lots of power out of these two 85ers. Both of these guys showing a pretty decent wrestling pedigree, of course. But Heinzich really doing a number with that positioning and really able to scramble really, really well. But Cox doing a nice job of controlling the shot from Heinzich right now and looking to control him from the, uh, from the top position here. See if Heinisch is able to get the Iranian lift here. Good job with the leg positioning by Cox, able to keep himself from being dumped over. Mostly I wanted to be able to reference an Iranian lift sometime today. Very few and far in between, by the way. Big, big knee strikes right now from Heinrich against Cox against the cage. But Cox showing his game. He is back, standing in the pocket and trading. And I think Cox landed a big right hand, JR. He definitely sensed that he thought that he had Heinisch hurt. Whether or not that was the case, I couldn't say definitively. But Heinisch able to wrap up both legs. Cox, I think, did a wise thing by sitting down there because I think Heinisch was going to try to give him some frequent flyer miles. And you always want to worry a little bit about getting an injury when you get slammed like that. But either way, it's a bad position for Cox right now. Referee Eric Hines said that they needed to work to advance, and Heinisch does exactly that. And let's expect some powerful striking now. Heinisch riding Cox right now. He's got one hook in. Looked like he's about to look for a rear naked choke. But Cox doing a nice job of trying to get Heinisch riding too high, but Heinisch breaks him down flat again. Looking for that choke repeatedly. That face crank is something. Don't know if it's enough to finish this one, but it's nice and tight. And there's a lie. There's a tap. There's a tap right there. Heinz is with the tap in the third. Great job by both these fighters. What an action-packed, action fast-paced fight. And like I said, these two, no matter who gets the win, who gets the loss, they're a couple to watch in Colorado. Thank you. 